Hollow Week. I hope you guys have been enjoying this whole week of nothing but Halloween costume, makeup looks. I hope you guys have really been loving it. And I really wanted to do something that's perfect for the lazy girl for day six. Something that's easy, that you don't need to go out and buy much except for maybe cat ears or I have this like cat woman mask that I got from Amazon. Super cheap. I'll link it below. Another fun accessory that you can get are these amazing long leather gloves. Makes the costume look even cuter. And e But that's basically it. Everything else is like black leggings, black shirt, black boots. Like super simple. Uh, so it's perfect for those last minute costumes, those lazy girls that don't want to go out and make a whole costume or on a budget. Like I totally feel you. They have cat ears at the freaking dollar store. So this is a pretty easy costume and it really emphasizes like the smoky cat eye, the red lips. It's just really gorgeous and sexy as well. So I hope you guys really enjoy this costume, this makeup look. Give it a thumbs up if you've been enjoying Halloween. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my future videos. Um, this is a quick one, but I hope you guys really enjoy it. You guys, don't forget that I will be doing a nail tutorial on my Instagram, so go check it out. These nails I paired up with this smoky, sexy, jewelry, thiefy eye. So I'll link it down below. Go check it out on my Instagram feed today. Also, everything that I used will be linked down below as well as these amazing contacts that I absolutely love. Uh, but yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so I'm starting out by putting on a primer base all over the lid. And I'm gonna put some tape down. That's really gonna be my guide and give me a perfect cat eye, which is exactly what we need for Catwoman. So I'm getting into the Urban Decay palette here, Born to Run, and I'm getting into a darker brown, and I'm just gonna kind of sculpt out where I want the shadow in my crease to be. I don't have a very prominent crease, so I kind of have to do this. And then I'm getting into a warm brown and kind of going to blend above and over where I put that dark shadow. And I'm also gonna put it on the outer corner and start kind of working that. I'm gonna put a lighter cream shade right underneath my brow. And I'm gonna start getting into this burgundy shade. And I'm gonna start with a fluffy blending brush, put that all over the lid. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I wanna pack it on slowly. I don't wanna just grab a flat brush and start packing it on because I want to be able to blend it out. And this is my favorite way of doing that. Then I'm getting back into that darker brown and I'm gonna kind of start to mix that into the crease area. And all the way in the inner corner, I want it to be dark from the inner corner all the way to the outer. Then I'm getting into this almost darker red brown that I'm pretty sure this is the one I used originally. And I'm going to start shaping that crease again with kind of a more dense brush. And then I'll start blending it again. So I'm getting into this palette specifically to get into a dark brown and a black because it, there wasn't any in the palette I was using. And I'm gonna start working that just in the outer part of the eye and going all the way to the tape so it can really look blended and smoky. I really just want a very smoky eye. Then I'm getting back into that burgundy I did originally and I'm using my fingers to apply it and then I'm going to get back into that blending brush and continue to make it even darker in the outer corners. So I'm getting into this like reddish, almost red, mix between red and burgundy I feel like and I'm starting to just mix that onto the lid and blend that out with the black. Then I decided to go into this like, shimmery shade and put it right underneath the brow very lightly. And now we're ready for the cat. So I'm gonna put liquid liner. I am using here the Rare Beauty liquid liner, which is my favorite. And I'm just gonna create a very 
prominent wing. Now you can take off the tape and just clean up anything that needs to be cleaned up. And we're gonna start with foundation. We're gonna put on primer, foundation, concealer, powder, that whole thing. I realized that I am going to have a mask on so I don't actually need to put foundation on my forehead or anywhere that a mask is going to be. Just a tiny bit of concealer, that way I just don't have to make the mask all messy. So I'm getting into some of the same colors that I used on my eyelid and I'm going to start smoking that out in the lower lashes. So I'm going to put on these Alter Ego Lashes in Celeb. So we're going to start contouring. I'm going to lightly use this Fenty Beauty Cream Contour in Teddy because it's a little bit dark for me so I want to be careful. And then I'm going to use this e.l.f. bronzer. I'm going to bronze up the skin a little bit. It's really pretty and I'm going to go into a kind of rosy blush. I feel like that matches the eyes pretty well. So we're starting on the lips. We're just going to line the lips and put on some lipstick. This is the Ofra lipstick in Havana Nights. I love it. It's just perfect for this look. And then I'm all done. Put on your mask and let's go. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and don't forget to come tomorrow.